it's Ashley from AshleyVarner.com, and I equip and empower women to live out God's best for their lives, not only spiritually, but emotionally and physically as well. And today, I want to talk to you about the one who redeems your pain. See, this morning in my devotion time, I was thinking about the word redeemer. I was just thanking the Lord for redeeming my life and for saving my life, and I confessed to him that I believe that he can take anything that's in my life that seems worthless or useless and that he can redeem it into something that's valuable. See, whenever we experience pain in our lives, whether it is from our own doing or from someone else's doing, it can be easy to fall into the trap of thinking that there's no point to it. We can start to feel like it's all in vain. And if I'm 100% completely honest with you, there is no point to our pain unless we put it into God's hands and we allow him to redeem our pain. See, I believe that the Lord desires and wants to redeem those areas of my life and those areas of your life that seem the most hopeless. So the thing that you have been struggling with the most, the thing that that pain that has been lasting for years and years, God wants to take that and he wants to redeem it for his use. And so anytime that I'm going through something and I feel like it's all in vain, I I know that it really is. My struggle is in vain if I don't put it into his hands. So as I was thinking about this and I was putting it in my prayer journal and just writing it out, I usually put on, you know, quiet worship music whenever I'm doing my devotion time and a song came on and the words to the chorus said, Jesus, awesome in power forever. Awesome and great is your name for you overcame. And that's the reason why I can be confident in putting my pain in my struggle into his hands. Because even in those pains and those struggles that I, at this point, I don't feel like I can overcome, even if I'm not at that point yet, I can still have confidence that God is going to redeem those things and he's going to use those things for his glory because he has already overcome those things. And that's why, because he's overcome all those things, that's why he can redeem our pain and our struggle, even if it's from our own doing. Because I think sometimes, you know, we see pains and struggles that maybe aren't our fault, and we know that God can redeem those things, and he can use those things, and he can use our testimony in those things. But sometimes we forget that even the things that are our fault, even the things that I have brought on myself, God can use those things, and he can redeem those things whenever I put them in his hands. So if you have a, maybe a habit that you have been struggling with for a long time or a pain that you've been struggling with and you know that it's that it's your fault that it's kind of that you kind of brought it on yourself don't think that that is not, that that's a reason that God can't use you or that he can't use your pain because whenever we put all those pains and all those struggles into his hands he can redeem them because he has already overcome them this was such a great reminder to me that i don't have to wonder if i'm going to overcome something that i can be confident and you can be confident too that whenever we give our pain and our struggles to the lord that he's going to redeem it in the most beautiful way possible. That really spoke to my heart this morning and I hope that it speaks to your heart as well. If you liked this video and you want to check out more videos and more blog posts, feel free to go to ashleyvarner.com and while you're there you can check out all the resources that are available, all my past blog posts, and don't forget to subscribe because I send out way more personal tips and personal insights from my daily devotions and other things that I don't normally post here. So make sure that you do that and I hope you all have a great day.